The Sustainable Built Environment National Research Centre is a unique blend of industry, government and research partners working across Australian industry with key links internationally. The aim of the project is to investigate how to deliver better place and people orientated livable, social and affordable housing. So this is a key feature that has been probably overlooked in much of the past delivery of social and affordable housing. So the outcome of this project is to deliver a livability framework for medium and high density urban housing. And to do this, we examined three case studies, one in Queensland and two in Western Australia. So those three case studies is where we tested out the livability framework to examine what are the important factors that go into creating a livable, social and affordable housing within a medium and high density environment? And what are some of the outcomes of adopting this type of approach? The livability project for BGC uh, really captured our interest and imagination because we're working in that sphere, in the sphere of medium and high density affordable housing. It's an important market for us. These projects that we've worked on through the livability framework have been targeted to demonstrate that we can produce a better product that is more livable, which is the basic aim of this thing, and is still affordable. So the framework needs to start at day one, uh, right from you know, the site and evaluation of the site, through to the initial planning and the architecture and the urban interaction around it. So it's something that becomes embedded in the process. So it's not arduous to the process at all. It's an aid and an assistance to the project. This research is a very exciting culmination in a series of research projects. It is a framework that will be very useful for all parts of the social housing system. The industry builders and providers, government funders and planners, and also for the not-for-profit sector, many of whom have been working with vulnerable people needing social housing for many years. It includes um, a, a range of uh, options that takes into account the uh, needs of people who uh, don't normally have a voice in these sort of planning arrangements. So I want to commend the framework. I think it's going to take uh, the options for affordable and livable housing forward um, and it's going to do it in a very accessible way for both industry and for government but most importantly for those not-for-profit organisations that are, have been um, leading the way in many ways in terms of meeting the needs of vulnerable people in Western Australia and Australia.